That's where they make paper. And it was in Corner Brook in Newfoundland. And they taught me a song there about drivers. <laughs> no, these drivers don't drive cars. They drive logs along the river to the paper mill. And also, if you listen very carefully to this song, you will find out how paper is made. I tell you today in Toronto, the paper, it is read by each man. But little they think of the fellows that drove the wood on Mary Ann. For paper is made out of pulp wood, and many things more you may know. And long may our men live to drive it upon Newfoundland's rivers and shores. With their pike poles and peavies as they get on the logs, they are sure like our sailors and warriors bold. But there's none know the life of a driver or know what he suffers with hardships and cold. You probably have seen pictures of those drivers, didn't you? They can stand on a log in the middle of the river. And they can balance like that. And they never fall off. Well, maybe hardly ever. And, and I better don't do it. And you probably heard also that paper is made of pulpwood. Yes. Well, you know, in the old days, paper was very expensive. It was made of cloth and rags. And to get a book, oh, only very rich people could afford to have a book. So whoever thought of making this out of that? Well, that's a very funny story. It happened a long time ago because a man had trouble with wasps. You know how a wasp looks like? You know, that little creature that may sting you? And that's why Mr. Keller wanted to get rid of wasps. They were building nests under his roof. And one day he discovered a big nest. And he was poking at it, poking, and trying to get it down. And then the wasp took after him, and he was running. And he was screaming, Ach, my lieber God! Ach, my lieber God! You probably didn't understand. Ach, my lieber God. Well, you see, Mr. Keller was German. So when he wanted to say, oh, my goodness, it came out as, ach, my lieber God. And then everything was quiet. And there was the nest. And Mr. Keller approached it very carefully. He was quite a scientific man. And suddenly he said to himself, this nest. It looks as if it were made of paper. All these tiny little layers. How did the wasp do it? Well, do you know what Mr. Keller did? He got himself a beekeeper's head. This is how that looks. And he went out and was looking for wasp's nest. And this time he did not knock these wasp nests off. He was just watching these wasps for hours and hours and months and months and years. And this is what he found out. He found out that the wasp collect or gather tiny pieces of wood. And they chew them and they moisten them in their mouth and they glue them together into these tissue-like paper. And guess what? And Mr. Keller got the idea to make paper out of pulpwood. And from then on, paper is quite cheap to make. And we can have all the books we need, and we can make all these beautiful things for birthday. So, and that all happened because a wasp nest and a Mr. Keller of Germany. So why don't we end our story with a little German goodbye song? 
muss sie denn, muss sie denn zum Städtele hinaus, Städtele hinaus, oh und du, mein Schatz, bleibst hier. Wenn ich komm, wenn ich komm, wenn ich wieder zum komm, wieder und komm, kehr ich ein, mein Schatz, bei dir. Kann ich gleich nicht allweil bei dir sein, hab ich doch meine Freude an dir. Wenn ich komm, wenn ich komm, wenn ich wieder und komm, wieder und komm, kehr ich ein, mein Schatz, bei dir. Was I then, was I then, to the city away, city away, and you, my love, stay here. When I come, when I come, when I come back again, come back again, I'll return to you, my dear. I cannot always be with you, still you are my only joy. When I come, when I come, when I come back again, come back again, I'll return to you, my dear.